In this video, I thought we'd take a closer look at my antique pop bottle collection. I found these bottles in a hillside dump of an old farm in Upper Michigan in either 1998 or 99. Uh, I have a lot of duplicates, so I'll just pick the best ones of each kind and we'll take a closer look at them. So a little backstory on all these bottles. Um, my dad had an old army buddy uh, that lived in Iron Mountain, Michigan, and he had a cabin about 35 miles northeast of Iron Mountain, and that's where we'd spend uh, most of our time when we were up there. We'd go up there a couple times a year, and uh, he had a four-wheeler, and I used to like going around and exploring the property and looking for deer and other wildlife and stuff like that and I came across um, a hillside dump um, on the edge of the property and uh, started looking around and uh, I started finding these bottles a lot of them were um, buried under the leaves and in the dirt and mud and uh, so I spent a good day uh, digging around and collecting all these bottles and um, I counted them up I got 43 total and then I got uh, these other two uh, little bottles right here and um, that green one there is kind of a mystery one we'll take a closer look at that and hopefully somebody will be able to tell me exactly what it is because I haven't been able to figure it out so alright well let's take a look at some of these bottles first up is a coca-cola bottle um, this was the only one I found uh, that was intact there were a couple other ones uh, but they were broken so I just left them where they were I found a total of four of these mama size dad's root beers and one junior size. I really like these bottles. Uh, the colors are really bright on them. The yellow and the red. There's the three different sizes that you could get. Unfortunately, there wasn't any Papa size. And here's the junior size that I found. I found a total of three uh, crush bottles. Uh, two are the smaller size and uh, one of the taller ones. I found six different kissed bottles. Uh, these three that I have here in front um, are three different variants. Uh, the one on the left uh, obviously doesn't say kissed on it right here and uh, it's got a little rib on the neck. Um, the one in the middle 
is uh, got a smooth neck to it and uh, says kissed printed on it and then the one on the right is also printed with kissed but it has a textured neck I found a total of five uh, Pepsi bottles. Uh, these two are my favorite. I, I think they're probably the oldest. They look the oldest anyways. Here's two more of the Pepsi bottles. Uh, they're very similar in shape. Um, just the one on the right is a little bit taller. There's four different variants of uh, the 7-Up bottles, so I'll show you these two first. I looked at these 7-Up bottles a little bit closer and there are some slight differences so I was just going to kind of go over that and show you. Um, for the most part these bottles are the same. Um, there's two different versions. You got this one here um, and then you got this one here with the uh, girl on it. But um, what I really wanted to show you was um, where all these were um, bottled at. Uh, This one here, uh, Salt St. Marie. This one here, also Salt St. Marie. But if you look at the two, um, they're slightly different. And uh, Salt Lake, Utah. Now how that got all the way up to Upper Michigan, I don't know. Here's one that was bottled in Iron Mountain. And uh, this one here was also in Iron Mountain. And you can see there's uh, slight differences there. And then um, this last one here Western Michigan, Holland, Michigan.